Hi and welcome back to part 2 of the Microsoft Visio 2007 tutorial on scale drawings. Now if you recall in the first part we created a box using the space um, a shape from the stencil and we enlarged it to 7 meters by 7 meters giving us a, a square meterage of 49. What happens if your office is not a regular shape? Many buildings aren't so um, it's a very easy matter to drag a second shape on. So I drag another one across and I'm going to overlay it over the first one. Hold down the control key on your keyboard, click the other shape so that you've got both selected and then if you go up to the shape menu down to operations in here you've got several different methods of combining these two shapes. If you click on union what that does is it joins the two shapes together as shown. Now again if you click on this and go up to plan you can use it to convert to walls very quick, very easy and it just turns the shape that you have created into a re representation of bricks and mortar. Okay, so far so good. Now uh, it's very important if you're doing building plans like this that you um, put things in the right place. One of the easiest ways of doing that is by using drawing guides. If you go up to the view menu as long as you've got a tick in rulers and one in guides here you'll be able to see the guides and creating them is as easy as this you move your pointer over the ruler till it changes shape to a double headed arrow and if you recall we set our drawing scale here to uh, meters from 1 to 50 so I'm going to drag my first guide here onto the 2 meter mark and then if I take the whole of my drawing I'm going to drag that back and you see what happens it glues it to the guide great now I want to put a doorway in here and I'm going to move another guide across and put it a meter in from the first okay so I know exactly where this is going uh, over on the walls doors and windows stencil I'm going to take a door shape like this drag it on and as soon as you see that red square at the end you drop it and let go of it and it glues it to that guide so here we are we've now got our office shape and we've got a doorway in it how about a couple of windows? Yeah, I think so. It's going to be quite dark otherwise. So again, I'm going to move a guide over from the vertical ruler and I'm going to put it about there. That's just inside the uh, right-hand wall. Again, I'll go over to the walls, doors and windows, stencil, take a window shape. And I'm going to drop that again, exactly as I did before, onto the wall. Now. Uh, that window is a little bit wide, it's 900 millimeters, and you can see there's not a lot of room on that wall. Zooming in, I'm going to hold down Shift and Control and click my mouse a couple of times with the left button, it allows me to zoom in. Now I don't want this window 900 meters, I, uh, millimeters, I want it 600, so I'm just going to drag that in until I reach 600. There we are, job done. Moving down to the rear wall of the building, I'm going to put another window in here. Uh, and this time I'm going to make it 1500 again see the little red square there that shows you that it's going to lock the window up to that guide drag it out simple as that we've got a 1500 millimeter window there zoom out by clicking with the left mouse button looking good yeah okay it's a little bit dark on this side let's put another window in here just want to show you what happens when you drop a window on a vertical wall Wow, look at that. It just re rotates it and puts it in the, the right way around. Fantastic. Um, if I wanted to put an internal wall in, let's say I wanted to add a wall in here so that people walking through the door didn't come straight into the building, but they had a little hallway first. If I take my wall shape from the stencil and drag that across, I'm going to just put it on the wall that I've already got there. Okay. Now, again, I want to just zoom in to show you this. If I zoom in, if I hadn't got that got that quite aligned properly, if you hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys on your see that on your tool uh, uh, on your keyboard rather, you can move it by see one pixel at a time. So you can make it absolutely exactly line up with what you already had. Now this wall obviously is far too big. I'm going to pull it back there so it's two meters in length, and that gives me a nice little vestibule for people to walk through. Okay. One last thing, just zoom out again. If I was going to submit to, uh, I don't know, a, a local authority or something for planning consent, uh, I might want to move this whole thing into the center of the page. Absolutely easy. If you go up to your shape menu, center drawing. Job done. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.